Wait, I'll take my glasses Get the sillies out. Get the sillies out. Okay, yeah, that'll make it. Oh, yeah. That'll make it So different. Very different. (laughs) All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome today to the Beth and Deb show. I'm Deb. And I'm Beth. And we're here to talk to you today about a term that I don't really like, but a lot of people use it. It's adulting. Adulting. Adulting, which is the act of being an adult, oh. doing grown up shit, because that's what we need to do. As gr- am I, are we allowed to? I think we can say Okay, shit. we're allowed to, because this is an adult bit. This the, is about adulting. This is about adulting. This is your adult first swear. lesson. If you said, <laughs> you need this, you need to keep watching. You might need some adulting. You know what else you need adulting for yeah. is this band aid. Well, I didn't do this. It's, I got a flu shot, which it's, is actually a very adult thing to do. So, it really is. Uh, get off my back. I'm not on your back. It. I'm on your it back. Is, it's, um, it's whimsical. It is, yes. It's got ghosts. But it really is but. true. Like taking care of your health, mm-hmm. making the choice to say, I need to do this for my body. Yes. Yeah. So, I think um, for young people who are coming from high school being you know like when you're living with your parents and family it's a tough transition to go from okay I have these people who are kind of doing all of these Uh important things for me and sometimes you don't even realize what they're doing because it's so seamless like yeah because they don't your mom or your dad or whoever you know you're living with who kind of cares for you they're just doing it yep. and they're not like every day like well today I made your dentist appointment uh-huh. and these are all the things that I you know like yep. it just happened I paid right? the electric bill today <laughs> right. and your cell phone exactly. bill and that sort of thing and oh. you didn't have to yeah well now you have to right like these are the things that it's a transition but it's not impossible right and I think the f- that we were talking about the first step to adulting is deciding you're gonna be an adult now right like just making that mental shift of saying Nobody's going to do this for me anymore, and these are the thing, the important things I need to do. Now, paying the electric bill, if you don't pay it, there's a consequence, right? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. But it's maybe a little harder to see the immediate consequence of, like, not cooking your own meals or not exercising or not making that dentist appointment or whatever it is. Like, there are some long-term things that you'll suffer from, but it's easier to do in the moment stuff that's not very adult like so the first step is deciding you're going to be an adult one thing that I really like to do that helps me like organize all of my adulting tasks is to have a weekly meeting with myself to go over (laughs) I love that you do this yeah Yeah, it's it's my CEO meeting is what I call it and I go over the things that I want to focus on for that week um, you know how I want to organize my time in addition to the things that I just naturally juggle Um, since I've been an adult for so long now and these things are seamless to me, but then I can um, decide on some things that I really intentionally want to spend my time on. Um, And this can be, if you're just starting out and kind of managing your own life, then you just make it really simple. What do you think are some things that people should focus on if they're going to like do this adult life? pretty well. Yeah, I think what you said is so important. I was, last week I was at a leadership conference and it was actually at like kind of a health and wellness Mm -hmm. sort of well um, conference and they were talking about how do you get people to be healthy? How do you get them to work out? Mm -hmm. And we're talking about the difference between, you know, when you want to lose weight, you're like, I have to go to the gym. Yeah. I have to go to the gym. Sure. Whenever you have to do something, you're you more to. likely to mm-hmm. stray back to what is comfortable, which in this case is not to do all the all the adult right. thing, right? Like I, you'd rather not get a flu shot. You'd rather not have to pay the bill. Yeah. Pour all of your hard earned money into an electric bill. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Right. So I think, you know, you have to get to the point where you want to do it. Mm-hmm. So if I want to go to the gym. I'm more likely. I get to go to the gym today. Right. Yay. I get to go to the gym. So, so I think it's true of just about anything, mm-hmm. but adulting too. I think it's I want to be independent, and I think the other thing that happens during this developmental period, during the college teenager years, there are parents who may not want. Oh Lord, yes. <laughs> she rolled her eyes. Yeah, but I mean, I think it's important to realize that your parents may not 
kick you to the curb. Yeah. Right? So that if you're waiting for your parents to be like, well, you need to go do X, Y, and Z. They might not do that. Yeah. So you have to be the person who says, I want to be an adult. Yeah, like, Mom, so, okay, stop making... Right. I'm going to call the doctor this time. Right. And, you know, don't I worry about it. I want to do it. Mm-hmm. And so I wonder if it's also, like, when you're faced with hard things, mm-hmm. like managing your budget, uh-huh. right? I have $500 a week to play around with. Ugh, I have to budget. No, I want to budget my money so I can take control of my life. Yeah. So I wonder if the mantra of... Instead of, I have to, Mm -hmm. we shift it to, I want to, Mm -hmm. fill in the blank. Yeah. I want to create a weekly meal plan so I don't have to eat at McDonald's six Mm -hmm. times a week and Mm -hmm. blow half my budget. Yeah, and then I'll get to have a yummy dinner that's healthy and good for my body. I want to to, go uh, to the gym so I can... feel healthier in my body. I want to... I want to get a planner and schedule out when I'm going to do my homework because... That will result in better grades and less stress and better time management. I want to make a good first and continued impression mm-hmm. on my instructors. So I'm going to go. I want to go. I want to go to class. To class. I want to do well on this assignment. I want to go visit them during office hours. Mm-hmm. So instead of the I have to, which is always going to lead you back to your old behavior mm-hmm. that isn't working, it's I want to do these things. And here's the truth, right? We've talked about this before, too. Like, you might not actually feel <laughs> like you want to. Yeah, like, I'm not like, I want to go. And, you know, it's like, I, I know that you might not feel excited. But yeah. I do think it is powerful to have yes. that, that verbal difference, that mental shift, that eventually it will become habit. Yeah, there are so many things like that, like... Um... Instead of saying, I really should work out tonight, it, you could say, oh, it would be nice if I could work out tonight. Or, like, I want to work out tonight. Yeah. You know, it's really... Well, I will. Yeah, yes. like, I'm going to work out tonight. Instead of using that kind of more negative language that we gravitate toward, it takes effort to kind of get into that habit, but it really can make a difference in your mentality toward those tasks. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, things like nutrition Mm -hmm. and personal finance and organization. Like, maybe you start with just, I want to learn how to create a budget. Mm -hmm. You know what you do? It's called... Google it. Search it up. Search it up. That's right. (laughs) It's easy. And they are way smarter than I am. So much smarter (laughs) than you. (laughs) So, none of these videos are ever going to... To be able to teach you all of this. Yeah, but we're not going to teach you how to budget. There are lots and lots. So I think it's thinking through, shifting your language, and something else that if you really want to achieve this goal, tell someone you want to achieve this goal. Yeah. You know, tell someone like, hey, look, Deb, I want to try something new because I'm I'm struggling with like my complaining issue. Mm. <laughs> She's laughing. Uh, it just got real. <laughs> okay, this was a role play. <laughs> This is a hypothetical situation. (laughs) She's like, "Mm mm-hmm. So uh, we say to someone (laughs) that is our friend, we say, like, I want to start saying things like, I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do this. So so can you help me? Hold me accountable. That sort of thing. Yes, because then every time I hear you saying, well, I have to do this, Uh I'll say, oh, you mean you want to do this. That's (laughs) right. Because it'll be like, (laughs) yeah, it'll be a fun way of, like, getting you a little bit, you know? (laughs) (laughs) Um, And I, oh, shoot, what was I going to say? I had something. Oh, that's gone. Okay. Off it goes. So So I want to remember all of my thoughts. You can't always remember all of your thoughts. <laughs> but you can still say it to yourself and yes. support you. I want to remember all of my thoughts. I can't. Did it come back to you? No. Uh, it's okay. gone forever. We should just end it there then. All okay, right. Guys. Okay. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye.